What is up guys and girls, you wonderful people out there. This is your guy Christopher Watson of Crack Media and I think we can honestly say that Gear Dog Season 1 is over with. Because it looks like a new episode of Gas Monkey Garage is starting in the place of a Gear Dog. So unless Discover Unless Discovery Channel has shifted um, basically the show from Discovery Channel to to Velocity, that'll be the only way that they, they it can still be going on. Speaking of which, I feel like car spotting has went from Discovery to, to Velocity, but I haven't had a chance to be able to see it um, because I think it's just a like a West Coast show now. Anyway, I'm gonna do a season interview. I personally love the show Gear Dogs. One, I think that this exposure to Gear Dogs, to, to the dog house that Nate is having, will hopefully spawn on some other shops to do this sort of thing across the country. Like I said in previous videos, if any shop or if somebody or if I was able to open up a shop here in Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas, Central Arkansas, to do something like the doghouse, I would be there. I would move my car from my garage to um, to wherever the, the garage is. And I'd go there on the weekends to, to do my, my work because I'd have a lift, have all the tools, all the equipment I need to get a, a, my restoration done. Um, as far as the builds and the flipping goes, I, you know, like the idea of Nate doing the flipping with, um, you know, simple Joe Blows as myself. But I, the elements that I think need to be improved for the show is that they need to show that there's some, some continue, they need to show some continuation with how the flip went, how the people feel about the cars now that they bought them if the people really truly bought them or if somebody backed out of the out of the deal so i actually got a tip from a youtube watcher or youtube um i don't know if he has the creator but a youtube watcher that said that in one of the earlier episodes chris who had i'm trying to think of a car I have the car pictured right here, but Chris actually didn't sell the car and kept it for himself and is actually trying to sell it now privately, I guess. Um, and that's the stuff I want to see. That's the stuff that viewers should want to see. Like the continuation of the flips, continuation of the sales, continuation of the builds. Um, do I think Nate is a top-notch builder? Yeah, I think his stuff is top-notch. I think he doesn't like to cut corners. I think that he's truly trying to develop something that is going to be great. Um, hopefully Discovery Channel keeps this show going on because um, I personally will watch it. Um, I want to kind of see him get into some serious, like, some serious flippage. And what I mean by serious flippage is like, get a car restore it but then do a crazy wild bill like let's get a 1950s bel air let's cram a big block v8 with twin turbo and then try to sell it privately or let's try to take it to mikamato show or take it to Barry jackson and see how much money he can make i that's the stuff i want to see that's the stuff i think that would boost the ratings for this show not that I know the ratings of the show, but I know it will probably boost the ratings. Like, oh my gosh, like this is the car that Nate and Joe Blow built and said Barry Jackson and they're actually making $250,000 on this on this car. That's the stuff I want to see. What do y'all guys think? Do you think that the show or the season was good? Do you think that Discovery should keep this show going? Do you think they should cancel it? Do you think it's a low a load of baloney? Let me know down in the comments and uh, we will catch you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out and have a great day.